CyberStuff asked if I could give the definition or the difference between chaff and flare. Oftentimes when we talk about them, we refer to them as chaff flare. And there is a button in the airplane that when you hit it, the voice actually says in your helmet, chaff flare. But it doesn't always mean you've dispensed both chaff and flare. They are two separate things. There are canisters on the airplane, and depending on which airplane, the canister might be in a different spot. And what happens is when you actuate the switch inside the airplane, it dispenses either chaff or flare or both. You can pre-program different programs into your chaff and flare for what you want to come out of the airplane. So there are actually three switches in the F-16 for dispensing that chaff and flare. And it depends on what threat you are reacting to. If you're in a visual engagement, you see a missile come off of somebody's airplane, you want to actuate a different one of the three switches because you have a button that is for a missile in the air. The difference here is that a flare is a heat object. And the idea is that it would be a decoy for a heat seeking missile so that hopefully the missile goes after this burning ball of metal in the sky and not after your airplane. Chaff, on the other hand, is like little strips of tinfoil almost, right? And what it does is it clutters up the radar picture for the other person's radar, right? Your radar is looking for a reflection. It sends out a pulse and then it looks for a reflection back of that exact pulse. And when that pulse comes back, it can measure the amount of time it took and give you a distance to that object. So then the radar is struggling to keep lock on the airplane. There are times where you don't know what type of missile is being fired at you, so you want both. So you have a switch that does both. There might be times where you don't want to flare if you don't have to, because it highlights where you are. And maybe no one has seen you yet, but they locked you in a radar. And so you want to chaff to try to break a radar lock, but you don't want to flare, especially if it's nighttime, because they're going to see you from like 50 miles away. And if you're out over the ranges in Arizona or Nevada, someone's going to report it as a UFO because you dropped the flare out there in your training mission at night. It has happened. That's a good question. If you have more like it, you can ask them in the comments and I'll try to answer in a video.